This man's name is Swavy Keys. Shout out Swavy Keys, man. Yeah. All right, what's up, y'all? It's been a while since my last video. Not that long, but, you know, I was waiting for the trade deadline and all that to get over with. It's been over for a couple days. Um, and I want to watch a couple Suns games first. Um, we didn't do anything at the trade deadline. A lot of people were upset that we didn't trade Tyler Johnson, who we just released. Uh, yesterday, we waived him. Um, I thought it was a bad move to not get something back for him, but... Somebody made a point that nobody's gonna, you know, give up assets, you know, to to uh, free up money, I guess, basically. So like, it really didn't matter. But um, by the way, Tyler Johnson was like a great dude. You could just tell. Um, he seems like really down to earth and all that. He's a good person. I hope he ends up somewhere like that fits him. So you find him a nice little home. I thought it would be here, but. It is what it is. Um, we tried to get Luke Kennard, it seems. They, a, a report had came out from Woj that we we're like in discussions trying to get Luke Kennard. Um, then he's a couple days after that, he tweeted that the deal fell apart. The talks fell apart, at least. There was never really a deal in place, but the, the talks fell apart because... Uh, we couldn't come to an agreement on the protections for the pick, first round pick, because they were saying the pack would be like Ellie, Javon Carter, and like our first round pick. I'm pretty sure that means like the Pistons tried to just you know fleece our pick, and we tried to protect it, and they were like, <laughs> they probably wanted like a a pretty good like pick for that, bro. I'm glad we didn't do that honestly because I wanted Luke Kennard really bad because he. Fits like what we need a score, another guard that can create for himself and uh, for his teammates. But at the end of the day, bro, we can't just let teams fleece us either at the same time because our pick might end up being good. We might end up jumping in the lottery now with the new system. We just seen last year teams jump like the Pelicans jump into the getting Zion, bro. Like, you don't know, we might end up getting a pick and getting the future point guard that we need. Um, then they were saying we were taking calls on Kelly. It seems like it ha it was Orlando. Orlando probably tried to throw us Aaron Gordon, and we was like, nah, I don't think we was ever going to trade Kelly anyways. People start panicking, you know how NBA Twitter goes. <laughs> because we, you know, just because it says we were taking calls. I had tweeted, too, like, that doesn't mean we're shopping him. Like, I don't think we want to trade him anyways, bro. Like, he's part of the core, I believe. Think he's gonna play great again next season, improve again. Then after that, I want to give him a nice four-year deal. I need him here long term. I need all of them here long term. Honestly, I want to keep the core together. If I had to choose, I want to keep the core together, and you just put the right pieces around him, because they're good enough to go to the playoffs. Those four already are good enough to be your like your like your core players right there. Booker, Ubre, Aiden, and Mikael, They're good enough, bro. You could just tell. Man, you watching his game right now. And Harden just hit that three, but um Yeah, bro. We I understand people wanted to want him to make moves to help the bench. And the fact to me that he that we were in talks for Luke Kennard, that 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 was enough for me to tell me that he was trying. And the fact that he it was a, somebody that would fit perfectly like what we we're asking for, like what the bench needs. That gives me faith too. That James Jones knows what he's doing. He knows what he sees what we see. The fact that he was gonna go get the guard that we've been asking for. So I feel like in the off season, bro, I got a lot of confidence in him. That he knows exactly what this team needs. He knows the core is good enough. I think he's pretty much like he's pretty much like every time we talk to him, it seems like he really like in like believes in the core like I do. Like I believe, like he's he's made it clear too that they believe if they didn't if that injuries and the DeAndre Ayton missing twenty twenty five game suspension, like without that, I think they believe we would have made the playoffs, and I low key believe that too. Like Memphis is good. Memphis is in the eighth spot right now. They're good. They have what twenty six, twenty seven wins. I feel like we have that if Ayton didn't miss twenty five games. There's games we lo we lost that I think we we're not losing with Ayton, especially the way he's been. His impact this year has been. 
like even better than last year's. Like he's a, a force on defense that he wasn't a, wasn't last season. Like it's a good possibility we're in, we're in the playoffs if all that didn't happen. So I feel him on that. Um, once again, Kelly Oubre he was cooked this game, career high thirty nine. Um, we ran the Rockets after they just they they went to that their small ball. Everybody knows the Rockets story. Literally don't have a center on their roster. I don't know if they're gonna get one before the playoffs, but I think they need one. Cause we ran them. If there's teams like us that got a lot of perimeter talent, and like we don't even got like that much perimeter talent, but like Booker or Uber was like killing them, bro. And then Aiton. If there's a big, if you have a big that can switch out like Aiton can, it could be a long night for <laughs> it could be a long night for the Rockets because they. Then they won't be able to take advantage of him on defense because Aiton can switch out and switch on anybody and do a good job. And then he's just going to punish you on inside. So. Um, then we end up playing the um, Nuggets. Once again, Jamal Murray murdered us. I don't know what, what it is with him, but he loves – he freaking murks us every time, and it's annoying. He said he he said he don't know what it is, but he loves playing here. Or he, I think he just loves playing against us, period, because he kills us when we play them in Denver too. I don't know what it is. Might be a Kentucky thing, bro, but he be he be getting off on us. My thing is, I think we let Nuggets, every time we play Nuggets, they probably guard Booker the best. They can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody can guard him one-on-one, -on -one, but they, like, they trap him every time, like, from the beginning of the game. A lot of teams do that sometimes, but some of them don't trap Booker until, you know, he's already cooking. But Denver usually does it, like, off a of rip, bro. Like, I feel like we should do that more. We did it to Harden in this game. Somewhat, and we start making making those other dudes beat us. That's what we should do because people do it to us, and it works sometimes. And we don't do it enough, in my opinion. Take the stars out the game and make the the role players beat you. But we got Lakers next um, tonight, eight thirty. Hope everybody tunes in. Those are just those are just my thoughts on the trade deadline thing because I know everybody was upset about it, but. Like I said, in my eyes, it's cool. We're going to be all right. Keep the core together. Get us the point guard of the future. Get some bench help. And I promise you we'll make the playoffs next season.